hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel in this video tutorial uh, we will continue the our left part in which we are setting or integrating the admin panel with our mvc application so we have to integrate now the content part let it stop and here when you collapse area you will found content and here you have to add an other folder which is saying admin okay and in this folder you have to include all the essential files like css jscript etc uh, go to here we have these files simply drag it over here and it will copy automatically to this folder so all the files are bind here now what you have to do now simply replace the all the links or the path with content slash admin okay like this copy it paste it here oops uh, I forget to use this too forward slash now we don't need this remove it okay save it go to the index part and where are the references you have to replace that with and let's see is there any more reference left like this images uh, you have to use uh, okay there is images like this find uh, here we can replace that control shift F images this current document match case and here you will found all
you have to be very careful when you are replacing the links because it is the hectic routine uh, once but after that it will be really enjoyable now after saving this you can execute uh, the again controller and uh, you will observe when in the previous video tutorial we have execute without the references proper references it look like this and now I will copy it and execute over here and you will observe it will approximately look like this okay here is also not found okay so now you will observe it is the HTML file and it is the MVC based your admin panel okay here you will observe but all the other parts will not be uh, usable because we have only render the index bar for all of that you have to create independent action result methods like chart tables etc as it is you will observe here in the it is the simple uh, table and the table file is executing forms forms file is executing and for that you have to uh, like this you will observe in the bottom here is the chart html and you have to use that one by one if you will use that it will show you the error and uh, you have to create the proper action methods for individual file which you have to execute like we have these all files and uh, we need individual action listener or action result method which will return the view i hope this video tutorial is informative for you if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel take care bye bye